tayo ng masaral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang magtaral tayo ng mas tuto Upang ikaw yung asenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Halina mataral na tayo Magandang araw, mga batang mandunong. Welcome to Project SOAR, series of online academic reviews of mathematics learning modules. I'm Teacher Alona, a senior high school teacher of Mataas na Paaralang Neptali A. Gonzalez. I am your teacher reviewer for this week in Mathematics 11, Quarter 4, Week 6. We are going to learn about testing hypothesis about population mean when the central limit theorem is to be used. Handa na ba kayo, mga batang mangunong? Today's objectives are 1. Identify the appropriate test statistic. 2. Determine the rejection region for a given level of significance through normal curve. 3. Compute for the test statistic value and compare to the tabulated value. And lastly, is to draw a conclusion about the population mean based on the statistic value and the rejection region. Before we start, let's have a recap about your lesson for the past week. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng hypothesis testing? Yes, it is a procedure used in a qualitative research by statisticians to determine whether or not to accept the assumption about the population. It is also a decision-making process for evaluating claims about a population. A hypothesis is an assumption about a population parameters which may or may not be true. What is the difference between null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis? When we say null hypothesis, it is a statement stating that there is no significant difference between population parameter and the value that is being claimed. It is denoted by the symbol H sub O. It is the initial claim. Pag nagkakandak tayo ng research, so as a researcher, ito yung unang claim natin sa research natin. Ito yung laging tinitest. Ano-ano ang mga simbol na ginagamit natin sa null hypothesis? Yes, we use this mathematical symbol like equal, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Ano naman ang alternative hypothesis? Alternative hypothesis is a statement stating that there is a significant difference between the population parameter and the value that is being claimed. It is also the hypothesis considered to be true once the null hypothesis is rejected. It is denoted by the symbol H sub A or H sub 1. It 
is the contrary to the null hypothesis. So, tandaan natin ang alternative hypothesis ay kinokontradict niya ang null hypothesis natin. Ano naman ang mga symbol na ginagamit natin sa alternative hypothesis? Okay, we have the mathematical symbol like not equal, less than, and greater than. Kailan natin ginagamit ang Z-test? Z-test is used for the mean of a population when n is greater than or equal to 30 or when a population is normally distributed and variance is known. Kailan naman natin ginagamit ang T-test? T-test is used for the mean of a population when n is less than 30 or when a population is normally distributed and the variance is unknown. What is Central Limit Theorem? Central Limit Theorem states that if the sample size is sufficiently large, then the mean of a random sample from a population has a sampling distribution that is approximately normal, even when the original population is not normally distributed. In hypothesis testing, we consider the five-step procedures. One, State the hypothesis and identify the claim. 2. Find the critical values from the appropriate table. 3. Compute the test statistic. 4. Make the decision to reject or not to reject the null hypothesis. And lastly, we have to summarize the result. For the z-test for a proportion, we use the formula z is equal to p hat minus p divided by the square root of pq over n, where p hat is equal to x over n for sample proportion, p is equal to the population proportion, q is equal to 1 minus p, and n is the sample size. The formula for z-test for a proportion is derived from the normal approximation to the binomial and follows the general formula for test value is equal to the observed value minus expected value divided by the standard error. Obtaining p hat from the sample that is our observed value P is the expected value and the square root of PQ over N is the standard error. Let's have example number one. The guidance counselor estimates that the dropout rate of senior high school students is 15%. Last year, 38 senior high school students from a random sample of 200 students withdrew. At alpha equals 0 0.05, is there enough evidence to reject the guidance counselor's claim? For our solution, step 1, state the hypothesis and identify the claim. Null hypothesis, P equals 0 0.15, and the alternative hypothesis, P is not equal to 0 0.15. Step 2. Find the critical values. The critical values are negative 1.96 and positive 1.96 for alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Since the alternative hypothesis uses not equal to, it refers to two tailed tests. How do we find the critical values? First, we have to identify the alpha which is 
equal to 0.05. Since the alternative hypothesis uses not equal to, we are going to use the two field test. So we divide alpha by 2, so we have 0.05 divided by 2, we got 0.025. And subtract it from 0.5, so we have 0.475. Now let's locate 0.475 in the Z table. So this is 0.4750. Then you just slide sideward. So we have 1.9. Then slide upward. So we have 0.06. Thus the critical values are negative 1.96 and positive 1.96 okay let's proceed to the next step we have step 3 compute the test statistic it is necessary to determine our p q and p hat p is equal to 0 0.15 Q is equal to 1 minus P. We just substitute the value of P which is 0.15. We subtract it from 1 so we get 0.85. P hat is equal to X over N. The value of X is 38 and our N is equal to 200. Perform the indicated operation so we have 0.19. Substitute to the formula and solve. Remember our formula, Z is equal now to P hat minus P divided by the square root of P Q over N. We just substitute the given values of the given variables, then perform the indicated operation, then we got Z is equal to 1.58. Make the decision. Since the test statistic is 1.58 and falls on the non rejection region, the decision is not to reject null hypothesis. Then we have the last step. We have to summarize the result. So the result is there is not enough evidence to reject the claim that the dropout rate of senior high school is 15%. Example number 2. A statistician read that at least 77% of the population opposed replacing 20 peso bills with 20 peso coins. To see if this claim is valid, the statistician selected a sample of 80 people and found out that 55 were opposed in replacing the 20 peso deal. At alpha equals 0 0.02, test the claim that at least 77% of the population are opposed to the change. For our solution, step 1. State the hypothesis and identify the claim. The null hypothesis is P is greater than or equal to 0.77. Alternative hypothesis is P less than 0.77. Step 2. Find the critical value. The critical value is negative 2.33. For alpha is equal to 0.01. Since the alternative hypothesis uses less than, it refers to one tail death test. Again, how do we get the critical value? First, we identify the alpha, which is 0.01. And since the alternative hypothesis uses less than, we use the one tail test. We just subtract alpha from 0.5 so we have 0.49 then let's look at 0.49 in the z table since there is no 0.49 kunin natin yung pinakamalapit so that is equal now to 0.401 you just slide sideward that is 2.3 and 
and slide upward that is 2.03 then the critical value will be now equal to negative 2.33 Compute the test statistic. It is necessary to determine our P, Q, and P hat. P is equal to 0 0.77. Q is equal to 1 minus P. So we subtract 0.77 from 1. So we got 0 0.23. P hat is equal to X over N. The value of X is 55 and N is equal to 80. Perform the indicated operation. So we got 0.6875 and substitute to the formula and solve so the formula for z is equal now to p hat minus p divided by the square root of pq over n to substitute the given values of the variable you simplify and we have z is equal now to negative 1.75 4. Make the decision. Since the test statistic is negative 1.75 and falls on the non-rejection region, the decision is not to reject the non-hypothesis. Step 5. Summarize the result. So the result is there is not enough evidence to reject the claim that at least 77% of the population opposed replacing 20 peso bit with 20 peso coin. Sana may natutunan kayo mga batang mandunong. Thank you for watching and God bless you all.